how to make a compilation CD in iTunes. Oh, hello. Welcome to Video Jug. I'm Stuart Headlam. You know, you should never forget how important the simple compi or mixtape is to your sense of well-being. You know, I spent hours as a lonely teenager putting together all my favourite music, alone in my room. Later still, I could put together a tape for a long journey, and if I was going on holiday, not only would I have something to listen to on the way, but I'd have some good memories to put with that music once I got there. The other great thing about making a mixtape was just being in the bedroom making it, where I could act out all those pop star fantasies. I'm making sexy. I'm bringing mixtapes were brilliant, but now with iTunes you can do the same thing, 21st century style. Step 1. Make a new playlist. Now, first off we're going to make a new playlist. Um, the Mac and PC versions of iTunes are ever so slightly different in terms of how their menus work, and I'll point that out when it comes up. Um, I'm also using iTunes 7.1.1 uh, for this, but the whole process has been the same for a long time, so I can't see it changing anytime soon. Okay, here's what we do. Uh, you go to File and New Playlist, and that's the same for a Mac and a PC, and your new playlist will appear on the left-hand side of the screen. I'm going to rename that Computape. Okay, once that's done, you can click on music in your library and then you'll have all your songs ready to be dragged into that new playlist. So I'm going to pick a few songs and drag those in. Now, if you want to see at any point uh, what songs you've got in your Computate playlist, you can just click on that playlist on the left hand side there and there you go, you'll see all your songs in order. Um, and then if you want to keep adding songs, click on music again and continue to drag them in. So once you're happy with your choices, you can arrange the songs into any order you like. Click on the Computape playlist, and then you can arrange them by artist, album, song name, or if you click on this column here, which is the track number column, you can actually arrange them into any order you like. Hmm, Flash Gordon into Immigrant Song. Good segue. CD settings and types. Now bear in mind that a CD that will play in any audio player will only hold 79 minutes of music or about 650 megabytes of data. Now the way that you keep an eye on this is this information here at the bottom of the iTunes screen. Make sure that you don't go over either of those limits. If you do, um, what iTunes will do is it will burn one CD and then it will ask you to insert another to fit on all the tracks it's missed out. And that's a shame because the last thing you want to do is have a CD that misses out your favourite song. Step 3. Okay, now you need to go to Preferences. You'll find it under iTunes on the Mac and under Edit on the PC. When the Preferences thing opens, uh, click on the Advanced icon or tab and then click on Burning. Now here, you've got the choice to burning a standard audio CD or an MP3 CD. Now an MP3 CD will fit many, many more tracks onto the disc. The trouble is it'll only work on drives that are specially designed to work with MP3 CDs. So that means basically computers or special hi-fis. Now you're not limited to the 79 minute limit uh, with an MP3 CD, but you are still limited to the size limit. So it still has to be under 650 megabytes. So remember to keep an eye on the limits at the bottom of the screen. The other options in the burning pane only apply to audio CDs. Uh, you can put a gap between the songs if you're so inclined, but personally I wouldn't because you're limited for uh, space and time on a CD as it is. Uh, the other option is sound check. Now that's iTunes way of trying to make all the songs sound the same volume, but in practice it doesn't work that well. So I'll leave it up to you if you want to use that. So once you're happy with your settings, we're ready to burn. Step four, burn CD. So with all your options set, you're now ready to burn. What you do is you click on your CompuTape playlist and down the bottom is a button marked Burn Disc. Click on that and two things will happen. The first thing is uh, iTunes will blank out any songs that won't fit on the CD. So use that as a double check to make sure that all your songs are going to fit on the one disc. The other thing it will do is ask you to insert a blank CD. Now make sure you're using CDRs and not CDRWs or rewritable CDs as rewritables won't run in most CD players. Insert it in the drive, and when you're ready, it's burn, baby, burn. <laughs> 